Annyeonghaseyo to all and wish you. Today I will be sharing with you my September favorites. As all my monthly favorites, I have a bunch of different products to show you, including some makeup products, body hair care, home goods, and all kinds of things. So let's get started. Let's start with my hair care in the past couple of months. I have been using the Tsubaki shampoo and conditioner. Mine's in the blue bottle. I think they have a few different kinds in the same line. I used to really like their regular Tsubaki shampoo and conditioner, which is in the red bottle, but I think they came out with this line not too long ago. I don't know if this replaces the old one that they used to have, or this is just a new addition. But I've been loving this in the past couple of months. I like both the shampoo and conditioner, which is quite rare. Usually I don't care much for the regular conditioner because I use a hair mask quite often. But in this line, I actually do like both. I'm almost out of the shampoo and I have quite a bit of the conditioner. I usually use shampoo much faster since I share it with my husband and he only uses the shampoo. But I got this line to try because I really like their red bottle and this is a new line. I got a blue bottle but they have a few different kinds. Mine says smooth. They have a few different types in the line and you can choose whatever suits your hair the best. I chose this one because my hair is straight and fine but also I have kind of dry ends. I can't quite decide if I like this one more or the original red bottle more, but that one was actually my all-time favorite shampoo, so that means I like this one quite a lot too. But I really recommend this shampoo. It's very cheap as well. It's probably one of the cheapest shampoo on the market in Japan. Next one is a body soap, and as you can see, I have two things here because I bought the refill version to put inside this refillable bottle, but it's the Naive Relax Body Wash. I don't know if this is a new scent or something, but I've only seen this recently. So here it says the scent is green floral, but it kind of smells like fresh grass or fresh forest. It's definitely a very relaxing but refreshing scent. So if you like that kind of grassy scent, make sure to try this one out. I like this body soap because one, it's really easy to find. You can find it everywhere in every single store. I think this is probably the most common body soap in Japan. It's also really affordable and just generally a good basic body soap. I like that it keeps your skin relatively moisturized but still feel like you can rinse everything off. So you can feel really really clean. Japan sells tons of refills because many people actually buy their refillable bottle to be a little bit better for the environment. I bought this cute bottle so I can refill with my favorite body soap. I have used their other scents as well and they're all really good. So definitely check out this body soap if you are in Japan. Another soap related item is this automatic hand soap dispenser. This one I'm holding is their old version, which I bought a couple years ago, and this one is the newer version, which I bought a couple months ago. And they both work exactly the same. You just put your hand in front of it and soap comes out. It's just a basic soap dispenser. I find this extremely handy if you keep it in the kitchen, especially when you're cooking, you have gross stuff on your hand. So you don't want to keep touching the soap bottle. This is perfect. So when you buy this, you can usually find a kit that comes with the machine and also the soap bottle. They have a ton of different scents for their soap. For example, this one I just used up is a Dora Emo special. They also did a Pokemon special a while ago, but I didn't get that one. And the green one I have in here is a kitchen one, which is supposed to wash your hands extra clean because you're touching food with your hands. And it's supposed to help you eliminate odor more. So this is the brand on here. I will list the information down in the info bar below so you can find all these products very easily. Both the old one and the new one have an on and off button. This one has it on the back and this one has it on the bottom. So when you're changing the soap or when you're moving around, it won't drip everywhere. You guys can find this really easily in all the drugstores, Don Quixote and places like that. But I highly recommend the soap dispenser because it just makes my life so much easier. And it's not as expensive as other automatic dispenser that I have seen. The only downside is you have to get these soap bottles. But ever since I got this, I don't want to use any other hand soap anymore. So definitely check this dispenser out. The next item is super tiny and it's this Sailor Moon collaboration Roto Eye Drop. This is a special Sailor Moon edition one, but it works just the same as their regular pack 
packaging is definitely a must have for me because I wear contacts. Japan has a lot of good eye drops, but you need to check on the packaging. If you wear contact lens like me, you have to buy the ones that are contact lens compatible. This one is one of the few that are, and it doesn't have that crazy minty feeling in your eye. Even though the minty ones are super popular, I just cannot stand the burning sensation in my eye. So I like the mild ones. Usually for me, after I get out of the shower, I always use this because I feel like every time I take a shower with my contact lens in, it always gets a lot drier after I get out. And I also keep a bottle of this in my purse because you just never know when your eyes get dry and uncomfortable. It also brightens your eyes and get rid of all those red lines inside of your eyes. I don't think they sell this packaging anymore, but the regular packaging works just as well. So I highly recommend this if you are looking for good eye drops. You guys have asked me a bunch of times to recommend Japanese face mask, and I think I have found my favorite one so far, which is this one. And make sure you check the packaging because this line actually has a bunch of different colors, but my favorite one is definitely this gold packaging. First of all, the scent is absolutely delicious. If you like peach, you will absolutely love the scent of this mask. It has the best peach scent. I have ever smelled. It also works really, really well. I think this is the face mask that has given me the best results so far. At least on my skin, I can definitely see a huge improvement on my skin after I use this. It's just a regular sheet mask. It has a ton of serum in here. I actually can get two uses out of this one packaging. If you use this only once, I feel like the price is a little high. I think it's usually about four or five hundred yen per mask. So I always use it two times. The first time I use it, I keep it on for 20 minutes. After I take it off, I rub the serum in and I fold it and put it back into the original packaging so it can soak up all the leftover serum. Then I put in a Ziploc bag and keep in the fridge. I usually use it for the second time a day or two after and keep it on for about five to 10 minutes. If you use it two times like that, I feel like the price is still quite affordable and the result you get this is definitely so much better than the cheaper face masks. So highly recommend this if you're looking for a good sheet mask, definitely check out this brand. But keep in mind to look for this gold packaging because they do have a couple of other ones. One is red and another one is white and blue, I think. But this one is definitely the best one. Next one is a makeup product and it's this K Designing Eyebrow. I don't know if they've changed the packaging of this, but my number is EX5. On this side, you get a mirror, and then the other side, you get three different colors. You also get a little brush that actually works quite well. This is perfect if you are very minimal with your eyebrows. Also, this is a great kit for beginners because it's just so easy to use. I use the dark color to do the ends, and then use the medium color to fill it in. The lighter color is good for nose shading or as an eyeshadow base. For me, I have a lot of eyebrow hair and I have bangs, so I don't need to do much for my eyebrows. As you can see, I filled in the ends and I kind of blended with the medium color and then I'm good to go. The next item is food storage boxes from Daiso. As you can see, I have a bunch of boxes here and I also have another one here. Technically, this is not a food storage box, but it's actually a microwave steamer. So it has two layers. You put some water in this one, then you put this one inside, and then you put the food in here. Put the lid on without fully closing it, and then put it inside the microwave. I use this a lot to steam vegetables and frozen buns. It's just a really quick and convenient way to steam things, but you can also use this as a regular food storage box. So it's kind of like a multifunctional item. I also got this one, which is a green onion storage box. So I always love eating green onions, but it's kind of a pain to chop up green onions every time. So what I do is I chop up a whole bunch. As you can see, I'm almost out, but I chop up all the green onions I buy and then I keep in this box and can last forever. If you chop up your green onions and keep in a bag or keep in a different container, it usually goes bad really fast. But if you keep in this container, it can last you a long time. If I fill this entire box, I can usually finish it within a week. It's also super easy to use because you just pop this lid and it opens. Inside the box, there's this green plate. 
that has holes in it so I think that's what keeps it fresh and not go bad but definitely recommend this container if you're at Daiso. I also got this box. It's supposed to be for your bread. As you can see, I have some homemade muffins in here. It just keeps your bread and pastry fresh and moist. And this way you don't have to waste the plug bags if you use those to store your pastry items. Definitely recommend these food storage boxes. They can save you a ton of money in the long term and it's much better for the environment. I have a couple of bags to show you guys and I've been loving both of them a lot this month. This is from a magazine. I will link it down below. They actually have a winter edition coming that has the same face but has like a fur material and that's the reason why I want to share this so you guys can get that one but this one is their summer edition. I think this is a really high-end famous brand in Japan but this one I think I bought it for maybe 1800 yen which is like $18. It's just a small round purse and you can see the material. I like that it has this tie on top so you can tie it up so your contents don't fall out so easily and also it just makes the face look cuter because it looks like a bow tie. It's really small and light but it can carry a ton of things and I've just been loving this and it goes with a ton of different outfits. So if you're in Japan and you see the magazine inside the convenience stores, definitely pick up a copy and you can get this purse. The other bag is this Wiggle Wiggle Eco bag. It's just very very tiny. It comes in a pouch and when you open it, it's just a very simple shopping bag and I just absolutely love the print. It's super super cute. The size is super tiny as you can see it fits in this little pouch but it can carry a ton of things. So I always put this in my bag because I always forget to bring my own bags to the supermarkets. So now I just keep this in my purse. It can fit in every single purse I own no matter how small or how big it is. I would say this is the size of two plastic bags, so it can carry a lot of things. The last one is a drink and it's the Mets lychee soda. So I love the lychee flavor and it's really difficult to find the lychee fruit in Japan and even if you do, it's really expensive. But they do have a few different lychee drinks. This one is sometimes hard to find, not all convenience stores carry it. I usually get it from vending machines and every time I see it, I always grab a bottle. As soon as you open it, you can smell the sweet lychee flavor. And here it says strong carbonation, so if you like really sparkling drinks this is perfect it's also not super sweet so definitely a really refreshing drink if you like lychee flavor definitely check this one out all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video and liked my september favorites some of you have asked me if i will be doing a fall favorites i'm not too sure yet because i will be sharing my favorites every single month so that way I will be sharing my fall related items in the next couple of months. If I somehow forget to share certain items, then I will collect them and do a separate video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more from me in the future. And I'll see you next time. Bye!